Oh, 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 my name's Greg and I'm the face behind Find My Australia. Now today I'm going to be going through a couple of different things with you. First of all was on a bushwalk that we were on recently and we're going to be showing you how something that can start off so good can just like that become a life-threatening situation. The other thing I'm going to do, I'll show you some of the items that I carry in my backpack at all times that most certainly can help you out in most of these situations and possibly even save your life. Okay, now I'm going to picture the day for you. It was early morning and myself and a couple of friends decided to head out to Tarmor to take on the Mermaid Pool and Tarmor Canyon Loop Walk. This is say around about a nine kilometer return walk and it's graded say around four to five in places and it wasn't until we descended down into Tarmor Canyon which is pretty well following Bargo River for around say three kilometers. Um, now the track down there, non-existent, uh, maybe storm damage that's taken it out. Uh, the rocks around there are also quite slippery. Uh, thankfully I do have the All Trails paid version. Now that allows me to track where I am, so I downloaded it onto my phone before I went out and without mobile data I can track exactly where I am. So it managed to find the crossings, there are a couple of river crossings that you need to do this and eventually finding our way back out to the climb out. Unfortunately, it wasn't until the last part of the climb out that the accident occurred. Now, heads up, it's going to be quite graphic. I do video all my, all my walks that I go on, video and photograph the walks, uh, and I did capture the fall. Now, thankfully, Colin has been released from hospital, no serious injuries, but very well battered and bruised. Uh, we have talked about it, we discussed it, and we feel it quite important that we do show you this, this, the footage so it can just show you how simple something like this can happen. Okay, I can see. Uh, we're finally getting close to the top. We're on the climb out. We've left all the slippery rocks. Uh, I'm gonna find a good trail, I hope. Almost there, Billy. That's okay, matey. No worries. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> He's going to sleep. He's going to sleep like a baby in the car. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh, 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 cold. Oh, cold. Okay, now these are some of the items that I carry with me at all times when I'm going bushwalking. Uh, one of the first things I always talk about is dress for the occasion. Uh, you say you're going to head out the mountains, winter time, cold, it's best to overdress uh, and it's not hard, you're going to get a bit warm, to take a few layers off, drop them in the backpack. The next thing, footwear, I always stress about the appropriate footwear. I don't know how many times I've been out bushwalking where I see people wearing thongs or flip-flops, whatever you want to call the things. Uh, now that's an accident waiting to happen. My choice of footwear, keen footwear, but there are a lot of great uh, bushwalking boots out there as well. Next, backpacks. Backpacks, you're going to be on a long walk. You want something that's going to be comfortable. I've got the Black Wolf backpack with a cage at the back here, so it's, you're not going to feel it while you're walking. So that's good to look into your, what you're going to be using for backpacks. Uh, water, I get paid out about this all the time. I carry a minimum of two litres of water. Now, I've been out a few times where people don't carry the water because they say they're fine, uh, and you do get dehydrated. Best to carry a little bit more than not enough. Another thing, snacks. Throw them in your backpack, sugar hit. Uh, you are going to find on some of these longer walks, maybe a hot day, your energy level is going to drop. These are going to come in very handy. Just throw them in the backpack. Important, snake bike. I've, I've got a snake bite kit. Now, in my case, it's not necessarily just for snake bites. You've got bandages in here. I've also got a thermal blanket as well. Uh, I've got a first aid kit here with some other bandages, band-aids as well, and a few other little bits and pieces. Um, 
the bandages on our last walk came in very handy for the compression bandages. So these are a must to have in all backpacks. You're out in the bush, uh, you're stuck overnight, and it can happen, you're stuck overnight, uh, it's wise to put a, a torch or a flashing light in your backpack. They don't weigh anything. It's no trouble to have it in there. And trust me, to have one of these things in your backpack, lifesaver. Next most important thing, mobile phone. Mobile phone. Okay, so the mobile phone here. Um, I know on the iPhone, the iPhone does also have an emergency feature on here. Uh, I'm not too sure about the Android phones, but it's a double button, push the double button, and an emergency uh, button will come across here easily. You're just going to swipe it um, to, to get to the emergency frequency. Now, you, you might lose your mobile data quite often in these bushwalks you do. Uh, the iPhone does have uh, a little satellite that if you move it around a bit, you can pick up a satellite. I haven't used it yet, uh, but it's a good peace of mind to know that that can work. That feature will work with the emergency button. Um, also, I do download the All Trails paid version on my phone. Now, the paid version works without mobile data, and that is a lifesaver. I've used that all the time. So I will download the area that I'm going to at the time, uh, and it will track where I am. And quite often, even on this walk, this last, the last walk we were on, where the track totally disappeared, it does keep you on track where you can see exactly where you're going and it is a lifesaver to have as well. Um, also, you can get download the Emergency Plus app. Now, the Emergency Plus app will give you the coordinates. Good to have, especially if you've got a few people, you've got no mobile range, you might want to say screenshot the area that you're in if one of you are going to head off to get some help. So, handy to have. Now, mobile phones, they do run out of power I tend to take a lot of photos, um, a lot of photos in there, plus you're going to be using the app as well, so it's going to take a lot of the battery use off. Uh, carry a battery charger. This is good for about two chargers, very important to have in your backpack as well. Number one on the list, if you're doing a lot of serious bushwalking, and this is a PLB, which is a personal locator beacon and it's something that I never, ever want to use. However, peace of mind having this in your backpack. If I was going to use it, it's simple to activate. You just basically lift up the, this break the seal, the aerial, snap it up, find an open area, and just leave it in the open area. Now this is going to track, this is going to get reached to a satellite. They're going to know you're in trouble. Now these ones here, I, it, they're registered, it's registered in my name. I do have a few emergency contacts registered on there as well, who they will be contacting. Um, but the most important part about this is it's going to know that you are in trouble and it's going to give an exact lo location of where you are. So although I never, ever want to use it, trust me, peace of mind, knowing you've got it in the backpack, it's good to have. What else can I say? But uh, stay safe, be careful and enjoy your bushwalk.